guys, this is Jessie, and this video is to teach you how to stretch your quads and hip flexors um, to reduce low back pain and stiffness. And especially for those of you who have an interior pelvic tilt and you stand like this. Okay, so I'm going to be pro providing three stretches with some progressions and regressions. So um, make it as intense as you need it or back off if it's too much. First, we're going to start off in a lunge. I like to have a little pillow here, especially if you're on your knees and you find a lot of pressure on your kneecap. Place it on a pillow or a blanket. You're going to step your left leg forward and come into a lunge position. Squaring your hips, engaging your right glute, which is the back leg in my case, to activate your hip flexor muscles right here. Now, if you want to go a little deeper, you can start to contract your left hamstring, bend the knee in more, without putting pressure in your left kneecap to come into your hip flexor stretch, your lunge. If you have any problems reaching down to the floor, you can use a proper yoga block. And then you can make the stretch a little bit more intense, bring the block to the other side, lift your right arm up, which is the same side as my back leg, and just reach it across the body at the same time, engaging your inner thigh muscles so that this doesn't happen. Roll the shoulders back and just get a nice stretch along the right side of your body. Now, if you want to make it a little bit more intense and you're pretty good with your balance here, you can start to bend the back leg and bring the heel closer to your bum at the same time engaging your right glute to really feel the stretch in your quad muscles. And don't forget to breathe in your pose and just make sure you're not sagging into your joints and getting lazy with it. If you still want a little bit more intensity, you can bring yourself a little closer to a wall. I'm gonna place this pillow right here. Bring my shin right up against the wall. Take my left leg forward, the same leg I was just doing. Oops. Push myself up and push myself into the wall so that my bum and my heel are touching. And my shin's pretty much right up against the wall. You would hold the stretch for maybe 30 to 60 seconds five to eight deep, comfortable breaths, and then switch sides. So the next stretch we're going to do is the figure four, also a progression to a pigeon pose. So to start off, you can come right against the wall, lay on down onto your back. Place your left foot up against the wall, I'll just start with my right leg again. Take your right ankle across, and you place it right on top, just above the knee here. Flex the right foot a little bit to protect your knee when you flex your ankle here. It kind of uh, simulates some of the ligaments around your knees to protect the knee. You're going to open the right hip, and if you're good here and you feel the stretch in the outer edge of the hip here, then you can stay there. If you want to make it a little deeper, start to bend the knee, place the foot lower down the wall, and hold your pose here for another 30 to 60 seconds. You can always make it a bit more intense by coming closer to the wall. Lift your hips up as you cross the leg over and release down. The next option would be to do a figure four stretch sitting up. So you're sitting up nice and tall, cross the ankle over the thigh, and then bend the left knee, lift the chest up, keeping the hands behind you for a little bit of support, but again, you're not sagging into the shoulders like this. Okay, so you shouldn't develop any shoulder or neck pain from your stretches. You want to make yourself feel better after you stretch. If you want to go a little deeper, just lift your hips up and draw your bum closer to your heel, keeping the chest lifted, rolling the shoulders back. And then if you're ready to try pigeon, you can come out of this pose. You're going to take your right leg forward and open up the right knee towards the right, keeping your foot away from your pelvis and lift the chest up. So what you wanna avoid doing is crushing your foot. This is not pigeon here. You're just kind of doing a half kneel. You wanna take the right knee out to the right. Doesn't have to be all the way up, just a little bit to the right. And then keep the foot, if it's too much, you can keep the foot a little bit closer to the pelvis, but again, not crushing it. When you're ready to go a little bit further, you move the foot out. And again, flex the foot slightly to protect your knee and lift the chest. Look over your left shoulder to make sure that left leg is straight back behind you. Left kneecap and left thigh facing the floor. 
And if the stretch is still a little bit too much, you can take your yoga props, place it under your right hip. And you need a little bit more props to help lift you up. You really want to try to keep your hips square to the front of the mat. So you want to avoid doing your pose like that. So this will help get into your left hip flexor a little bit more. And again, if you squeeze that left glute, the left bum, it'll open up your left hip flexor a little bit more. And again, just hold your pose for five to 10 breaths or 30 to 60 seconds. And of course, repeat on the other side. And that's it for today. Stay tuned for part two, where we focus on stretching your hamstrings, which are the back of your thighs. Thank you guys. Namaste.